What's up guys, Kara here for Destructoid and I just got my disgusting, sweaty hands on a good hour of Borderlands 2 and I'm here speaking with Randy Varnell. You are the design producer of That's the right. game, correct? That's right. Tell us exactly what that is because I think you're probably the third person from Gearbox <laughs> that I've interviewed with the words creative or design in your title somehow. Sure, uh, design producer really does get to, I, I get to play kind of a bridge of several different roles, design and producer to, to, to be, you know, I guess frank about it. What's cool is so many of Gearbox uh, employees are just empowered to put great stuff into the game. It creates big, rich games full of surprises and all that. And my job, I get to take that group of really talented designers and just help uh, uh, sort out what we're doing, keep us on track, watch what we're doing, contribute a little bit to discussion, and really just kind of help shape and mold where we're going and all that. If I'm, if I'm thinking of the first Borderlands and I'm like, how do I improve the gun system? Because it's already so amazing. Like, obviously, add more guns sure. is the first thing. Uh, but then you guys added this badass meter. Like, tell us about that. <laughs> well, the badass rank system is what you're talking yeah. about, right? So so one of the things we was really important for us is when we started hearing these fan stories about people who were literally playing hundreds of hours in Borderlands who really wanted a long game, well, we wanted to give those guys, and, and even even though the players who play less than that, a way to, to measure their progress and kind of compare their progress to one another. A little bit, a little bit of that competition that comes in when you're playing with co-op. So as you complete challenges in the game, we, we're going to award you badass ranks, right? In a ridiculous amount. I think in, in your level 20 you're looking at like 18,000 badass ranks or something like that. It's awesome. But it is a way to say, I've progressed uh, this amount and that amount. And the cool thing about badass ranks is they are uh, profile based, not character based. So for every new character you start and play, your badass rank just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you're a completionist, you want to play all the characters and, and complete all the challenges, you're going to get a ton of badass ranks. What's cool with that is for every few badass ranks, you're going to get a badass token that you can spend to buy a bonus reward. And so if you really are that kind of min-max technical player that you like to say, man, I really want the most fire rate I could ever have out of guns. You can spend those, those badass rewards to, to tweak that up just a little bit. It's a small amount, but it's infinite growth. As long as you're getting badass tokens and badass ranks, you're gonna get, get to buy those little perks. And those perks apply to all of your characters, not just the character you're playing at the time you bought it. So amazing growth so for the long term. Good for bragging also, bragging. Absolutely. Rights. Yeah. Nobody who plays first-person shooters likes to brag. No, uh, no, no, not at all. So how involved are you with the skill tree creation? Pretty involved. Uh, you know, when we got to Borderlands 2, we said, man, we, we really started something neat, that you have four characters, and there's some neat little moments in the skill trees there. But what, did we, what we wanted to be sure, one of the starting goals of Borderlands 2 was that every talent tree for every character, you have three different trees for every character, felt really different. In those trees, you're going to find some abilities that are amazing, that are really going to change the way uh, that you play the game. For example, a great one, real quick, is Maya. Uh, Maya is our siren. You know, they're kind of our magic users in Pandora, right? They're the, the wizards of the universe. They get to use this phase magic uh, to, to do their abilities. And her, her uh, action ability by itself is phase lock, where you take an enemy, lock it up into a bubble, and pull them out of the battle, right? But she has three trees. She has one uh, that the, the, the top tier ability is called thought lock, which is really a charm ability. She'll take an enemy, and rather than locking them in a bubble, she makes them fight for her for a short amount of time, which is a really different play style. So on the other end of that, she has a tree called Cataclysm that ends an ability called Ruin, which if you, if, you, if you spend your points right, will end up applying all of the different types of elemental damages in one burst. And her middle tree, Harmony, is all about support. She, can, she has a lot of healing abilities, she has a resurrect skill, if you're playing co-op, someone goes down for second win, you just phase lock them and get them right back up into the fight. Some really, really different ways to play and experience the player, and we've really done that with all the characters, so there's a lot of exciting things to explore and discover in the characters. Yeah, um, they were showing me one of uh, some of Axton's skills where you can kind of combine his double turret with like a nuke. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Create like a, a nuke that you can throw long distances. It's crazy the things that you can do once you like get high enough level where you can just kind of chain skills together. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's really incredible. The nuke's fun because you're talking about longbow there. If you remember yeah. the longbow grenades from Borderlands 1 where you throw them, mm -hmm. you do that, and his top tier is nuke, and it just it, it nukes. I mean, what, what do you say? Yeah. It's nuke. It does a lot of damage to a lot of enemies at a big radius. It's fun. Yeah. Well, the game looks fantastic. I can't wait to see the finished product uh, September 18th is the yep. date correct that's right awesome uh, Anthony Carboni is uh, interviewing Randy Pitchford the CEO of Gearbox over on our Red 3 Games channel that's youtube.com slash Red 3 Games so make sure you are subscribed there you won't want to miss that one it's good and uh, make sure you're watching here for all of the rest of our Borderlands 2 coverage because I guarantee you there will be more <laughs>